Why is Jacob so mean to his raven? He's just trying to be helpful. Today we're gonna go through Jacob's playstyle, skills, weapons you should use, and more for this military sharpshooter with an attitude. Oh, let's go. Let me know in the comments which hero you'd like me to do a guide for next. And we'll start out with Jacob's powers. Now, his first power is that Raven itself. And before you upgrade it, the Raven will go through walls and ping enemies for you and essentially mark them, which makes it a lot easier for stealthing around to avoid them or even just actually killing them because you know exactly where they are. Now, his second ability is Cloak, which will make you become completely invisible. Cloak is extremely powerful. You can cloak directly in front of enemies, vampires, everything, and they will completely lose sight of you. So this is a great ability even before you consider upgrading it. His ultimate is Heartstopper, which essentially gives him a sniper rifle and he becomes Deadeye and will deal an insane amount of damage as the weapon automatically locks onto enemies' heads. Jacob's playstyle really is evolved around that stealth sniper playstyle because of not only Heartstopper being a sniper rifle as his ultimate, but also having Cloak and Raven being able to ping enemies and cloak yourself for invisibility, that stealth health aspect is really critical to Jacob's gameplay. The big weakness to Jacob is that you don't have a movement ability, which is really difficult in some scenarios when you may want to get on high ground or something like that and use that sniper from a distance and like pick off enemies. But you can actually use like Dev's Translocator or Layla's Lift if you are playing in co-op to help you get to those environments. But in most situations there are ways to get to rooftops and higher ground if you're looking for a spot to sit so you can snipe from a distance but generally for a play style for Jacob I've been picking off enemies from range staying in stealth and then once I have sort of culled down the field a little bit especially some of the enemy snipers as they do a ton of damage on the higher difficulties and then go in a bit to close range and often I'll just you know go into normal combat against vampires or what have you but for the most part I always start those encounters from stealth to pick off the remnants around the outside. You've got a lot of weapon choice in Redfall and I think the one critical weapon that Jacob needs is that Yokai Silent Sniper. There is a couple of other snipers that aren't silenced but the Yokai Sniper is a silent sniper rifle which is absolutely critical for Jacob because if you make a lot of noise you're going to alert everyone else and having a bolt action sniper rifle that's silence just makes it so much better in those scenarios so if you find one of these rifles i highly recommend to keep them and i found heaps of them throughout my playthrough they're pretty standard so you should definitely come across them i would also recommend to run something like a stake launcher or a weapon that can stake enemies from range especially because vampires when you down them even if you one shot them with a headshot you do need to stake them to finish them off and if you're trying to stay stealthy from range you can't really do this without a ranged option the stake launcher is the simplest way to do this however you can actually upgrade your raven to do it for you and some weapons will have the option like a passive on them that will enable them to stake enemies even if they don't have like a stake on them like you can do it from range and then for my third weapon i would just run something like an assault rifle or a shotgun whichever you prefer i personally prefer an assault rifle especially ones that have that passive on them that increase my headshot damage because jacob has so much headshot damage already when you increase that even further you can one shot a lot of just the general human enemies as long as you hit the head even on the high, higher difficulties but you've just got to be good at aiming I guess and sometimes I am sometimes I'm not but I have my good days and bad like everyone else. Jacob has some great skills all centered around those kind of play style that we were talking about. Now if you're playing in solo like me I would highly recommend to level up the raven first. So once you level up the raven and start getting some of its skills you'll get things like marked for death so marked enemies take more damage from all sources as well as the killer corvus. So the the raven flies faster and further but it can now damage enemies as well and it can chain between them this is huge to give you something else in combat as another option just be careful with this like if you are just throwing the raven out to ping enemies don't directly aim it at an enemy because he will attack and break your stealth but just be careful with that but the but this also means that the raven can stake vampires for you from range. So if you've downed something with your sniper, you can send the raven to go finish them off for you. But I focused on the raven for solo play because I wanted to have something to assist me in combat and cloak just on its own without even upgrading it is just so powerful. Just be able to walk around and do literally whatever you want while you're in that cloaked state. Now, other than that though, I grabbed deeper pockets to increase my lockpicks and rewire kit. Sharpshooter is an absolute master that Jacob deals extra headshot damage as you always want 
to be lining up those headshots and then grab one of the ammo skills say long gunner for the assault rifle and sniper rifle ammo and the quick recovery also isn't bad but i would definitely recommend focusing on one skill probably the raven skill and then picking up some of these other passives if you are playing in co-op you could definitely pick up drill instructor so your allies get some of that headshot damage as well and then i would probably actually go into the cloak line in co-op because you can actually give damage resistance buffs and other effects that you can actually give to your allies just by using your cloak but for the most part it's not as valuable in solo players having something like maxing out the raven that i have found remnants are essentially trinkets that give you a number of buffs for your vampire god trinket miss whispers is the absolute one you go here so killing an unaware target grants you 15 percent damage increase for 10 seconds it stacks up to three times because you will be killing unaware enemies a lot of the time getting that damage increase is huge and for the blood remnant you can really just use whatever you have that's available to you i've been using this emergency flashbang for like my entire playthrough because of the buff that when i reach critical health there's like a uv burst and it will like freeze all of the vampires near me i've just found that super useful but really for your blood remnant it's kind of up to you it doesn't matter too much as long as you're getting a good benefit in terms of the health increase as well as the passive increases that you get from it let's go through some tips for playing as jacob and firstly is cloak now cloak is just exceptional even outside of combat to use to get yourself around you can sprint while you're cloaked in front of literally any creature and it doesn't matter but also even in combat so if you are in a tricky situation and you're say about to die or you've just pulled too many vampires you can cloak and they will instantly lose track of you you can then heal reload set yourself up into a position that you're comfortable with and then re-engage as needed i've done this throughout my entire playthrough and it's a great rhythm to get into if you get stuck you can quickly cloak and then be able to do this it's perfect for solo play to prevent you get dying all of the time which does happen sometimes i did mention it earlier but thinking about how you're going to stake vampires from ranged is an important thing whether that be with the stake launcher or a weapon that has that effect or with the raven it makes such a difference for a stealth playthrough like this because once you've got a solid sniper and increase that headshot damage you can one shot vampires just the standard vampires not like the elites but you can one shot them from ranged and then you can finish them off without having to break your stealth it's really really valuable for trying to play like a whole encounter in that stealth environment. The ultimate as well is best used when you are in a tricky situation. Like say if you're fighting some sort of a elite vampire or you've pulled too much that you haven't prepared for, it's really valuable in those scenarios. And if you kill a vampire with the Heartstopper active, you won't actually need to stake them. It'll just one shot them and actually finish them off for you. I found that really useful for elites and those special vampires just so that I don't have to stake them for rank or if they've been really tricky for me and I've just been able to do that and prevent that sort of issue from happening. But really the biggest tip for Jacob is the Raven. The Raven is huge and it is so versatile. Like once you've maxed this out, the fact that it pings enemies, it damages enemies, it stakes vampires, it does so many things for you. It is such a critical skill and it's on such a short cooldown that you want to be spamming this basically all the time. Even when you just hold down the ability, it'll ping enemies in a close proximity around you. Then you can send it out to ping enemies or damage enemies. It's so versatile talent does so much like highly recommend using raven just like all of the time because of its value it gives you have fun out there in redfall let me know which character you'd like me to do next thank you for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day